Hello, welcome to this video tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to remove noise in audio files in Reaper. The first thing I'm going to do is record an audio file. Now I'm going to normalize this bit of audio we've recorded so that we can see and hear the noise more clearly. Do that by right clicking on the item, go to item processing, click normalize items. Another way to just visually adjust the size of the waveform is to hold down shift and use the arrow keys, the up and down arrows. In Reaper normalizing is non-destructive, it doesn't change the file on the hard drive. Okay so now that we can see the audio a bit better I'm going to turn the volume down slightly so it doesn't deafen us and play back the file. Okay, so all the way through that we could hear a hissing sound, this sound that's right at the beginning. And what we're going to do is remove that hiss. So the first thing to do is to go down into the mixer, find our track, we've only got one here. Click on the insert effects slot and type in R-E-A-F-I-R, -R, refer. And double click that, and this window appears. Reefer is a Dynamics Processing plugin, you can use it for lots of things. In this case we're going to use it for noise removal. So we change the mode to Subtract. And we check the box for Automatically Build Noise Profile. Now what we do is we find a section of our audio file that has the noise that we want to remove, but just the noise. In this case we've got a big chunk of it right at the beginning. So we play that back while we've got Reefer enabled. And Reefer analyzes it and builds a noise profile. We can uncheck that box now. If you make a mistake, click the reset button, check that again, and play it back. Now I'll play back the audio file with Reefer disabled, then I'll enable it and we'll hear the difference. So you can hear that Reefer is stopping the noise coming through and it's not always perfect doing it this way so what you can do is you can actually go into Reefer and adjust the waveform manually with the mouse. You can redraw it like that which is rather clumsy or you can hold control and move the whole waveform up or down and control Z works in this undo and redo control Z and control shift Z. But generally that's okay, I mean even if a little bit of noise gets through, depending on the context of your audio file, if it's going to be hidden in a mix, you may not even notice that tiny bit of noise getting through. Now using Reefer like this, we have it on the mixer. Every time we play back this audio file, Reefer does its thing, it analyzes the file and it takes away the noise. If you'd just like to imprint the effect of Reefer on the audio file, what you can do is go to Item and then go down to apply track slash take fx to items as new take. What that's done is it's basically rendered a new file with our effect applied and you can see in the waveform the noise at the beginning is completely gone whereas in the original it's still there. Now obviously we've got two files now if you want to delete that you can delete it separately. Once you're using this as an only tab this plugin in the mixer you can remove that and we can delete that take if we want. I hope you found this video useful, please leave comments below and I'll have another video up shortly.